members of the Justine Dream Team, I just recently went on the journey of saddle shopping. And as you can tell by the title, I vlogged it and I'm going to take y'all along with me on my journey. So without further ado, let's get into it. start off the story of why I needed a new saddle in the first place is because I had a Pessoa XCH. It was my first saddle that I ever bought and I used it with Charlotte. And then I also used it at the very beginning whenever I got Holly and she was much skinnier and more petite. But for some reason, I guess when she started to gain weight, it did not fit anymore and it started to slide. When we were turning, it would like slide to the outside. And then when we were cantering, it just would not be the best thing. And so I had to start my saddle journey of finding a fitting saddle. I started off by taking two saddles on trial from my local tax shop. The first one was a no-name saddle brand, and then the other one was a Bates. The no-name brand really did not even fit Holly whenever we put it on her in the cross ties, so we didn't bother riding her in it. And then the Bates fit her well, but whenever I got on it, the build and the leather on the sides of the Bates saddle was just so bulky that I couldn't even touch my foot to Holly's belly. My legs just really did not work with that saddle. So we moved on that day and actually tried my trainer saddle. It was a very old Devaku. And what do you know, it worked pretty well. And it fit Holly and she was very comfortable in it, but it wasn't the best for me because it put me in very much a chair seat, meaning my leg was much farther forward than what it was supposed to be. So I opted not to buy the saddle from her, but I actually was able to lease it, meaning I paid a little bit for it each month and I got to ride in it as much as I can during the time that I was trying to find a saddle to buy. So my trainer saddle worked so well that I was able to actually jump in it. And for various reasons, especially because my old saddle did not work, this was my first time jumping in seven months. Seven months I did not jump. So yeah, it felt great to get back into it. Next up, I ordered a Tad Coffin online because it was on sale and <laughs> we love sales. Now I really loved the squishy panels. It felt like it would be very comfortable on Holly's back but she just didn't go around in it as well as I hoped, and it also put me in a chair seat. Overall, it just didn't work out the best for us, especially for the price, so I sent that baby back. And then I had a CWD representative come out and let me try some of their demo saddles. I really, really liked one of them. It was the Mademoiselle, I believe. Holly went around beautifully in it. I could tell she was very comfortable. And it just so happens that that exact demo saddle that I was sitting in and trying was going to be for sale in like a week. And since it was a demo saddle, it was going to be on sale for a cheaper price. And I was like, <laughs> okay, this is my saddle. Like, we are getting this saddle. Well, whenever we started to contact the representative to actually buy it, she had sent it off to someone else to try while their saddle was getting made. And that takes like two months. So she had the saddle for two months. And we were like, okay, you know, that's fine. We'll get it when it comes back. Well, during those two months, it gave me a lot of time to think. And I was like, what am I doing? Because even though it was on sale, it was still really expensive for me. And you know, everything happens for a reason because I decided I'm too broke to actually buy this saddle. It would have completely wiped me out for a very long time and I was like, why did I decide to get the saddle? So I contacted the CWD representative and I was like, sorry, I think we're gonna have to pass because you know, can't afford it. But you know, I didn't actually tell her that part. And then we moved on. We looked around online for much, much cheaper options and started near the bottom. So I forgot what this brand was actually called, but I'll pop it in right here. We ordered that online and got it. When I put it on Holly's back, just in the cross ties, there was a lot of space between the saddle and her actual back. We were like, <laughs> this looks like it does not fit. So we put a half hat on to try and fill that space. And guys, I know you're not supposed to fix saddle fitting issues with a half pad, especially when you are looking to buy one, but we already shipped it in. You know, let's just see how she goes in it. If it's a good saddle, maybe we can order a different size, etc., etc. So we rode in the half pad and oh my gosh, I could not balance in that thing. The center of balance on that saddle was so off from my center of balance that I could not do anything in it. 
As you can see, even on this transition, I was thrown way off balance because I literally could not sit down in the saddle for my life. No shade to the brand, I'm sure they're great and work for other people, but for Holly and I, it did not work at all. It tipped me forward a ton because I was not able to balance back in the saddle, and so that was a no-go for me. But you wanna know the great part about that? Is that it cost us like $75 just to try the saddle. Why? because we had to pay return shipping. And if you didn't know, return shipping on a huge saddle is a lot, almost $100. Yeah, so that hurt my heart and my wallet, but nevertheless, we persisted. And then the next event came. The trainer at my barn that I was renting the saddle from suddenly left my barn. And so I'm saddleless again. <laughs> Yippee Kaye. Literally right before I was about to leave to travel for a whole month, that saddle and that trainer went bye bye, and I was like, this is rough. <laughs> but the other trainer that was at the barn that's gonna ride Holly for me while I'm gone, she had a saddle that worked out. We used a half pad with it. Holly was comfortable, so that's really all that mattered. And then I returned, and we still have the dilemma of what the heck am I gonna ride in? I guess my only option is to try my old Pessoa because trotting's better than doing nothing. So I threw that bad boy on her. And for some reason, for some magical, mystical reason, it worked. That's right, my Pessoa saddle worked. And I'm not just talking only being able to trot. I was able to actually ride in it. It didn't slip, it was super secure, fit perfectly. I have no idea why, but I am so grateful that it did because that means I don't have to buy a new saddle. Even though I went through all that, and here we are, using the saddle that we started off with. But it's all good. Thank goodness Holly built up some muscle and the saddle was able to fit now. Cause I don't have to spend any money. Can you tell I'm cheap? And that was my necessary at the start, but very unnecessary at the end, saddle shopping journey. So thank you for watching. <laughs> Join me next time. Go out there and dream, believe, achieve. Bye. Goodbye. Bang it to the curb. Hit the town, hit the bird, bust the bitch, make them swerve. Bang, bang it to the curb. The sides were just so bolty. Bolty? That's, that's wrong.